wind tunnel and where the wind tunnel is based on the wall. Okay? I'm on VOP felony probation with three felony cases, different cases. Okay, Carol Mason. Nothing else. Nothing else. Keep the fingers and try to do your dumb line. I guess I violated my probation. So I'm facing prison time though now again. Let's pull out my hair out of it. All right, bend over your airways, just flip your hair over, kind of like you're washing it. I'm going to do the same thing again, so. Okay, stand up straight. I know what this process entails. I've been through it. I'm just, like, I'm just, just shocked. I'm in shock. That's how it feels, shocking. <laughs> All right, I'll take it right here. I'm at rehab right now at Project Warm where you can have your kids with you there. I was sentenced to it through um, my probation. Um, I went to rehab almost nine months pregnant. I had her eight days after being there. And now she's three and a half months old. There's a daycare there and they called me to come get her because she had diarrhea. So I took her to her doctor and I had my father meet me at her doctor and he brought me some Pedialyte because that's what the doctor said to get. And I know being at rehab, it's like hard to get stuff. And I had sat right outside the doctor's office in a little vestibule area. I guess they called up the doctor's office and he said, yeah, her appointment was done at 2.15. And well, I hadn't called yet because my dad was there with me. So I violated my probation, I guess because I didn't call them as soon as I was done. And it's a little upsetting because I'm facing prison time if I get discharged from that program. And I'm discharged from the program, you know, um, I breastfeed every two hours. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'm gonna wake up and she's not gonna be here. <sighs> what were you in rehab for? Um, I had heroin and meth, <laughs> but I've been working the program and I don't want to do that anymore. Turn your whole body to your right. I was actually doing it. I was I was confident that I was going to complete that program. I've been to that program twice before. This is my third time. Both the other two times I messed up, I went to prison. Whole body to your left. Those times I did drugs and I ran from the rehab. This time I didn't do any drugs. I didn't run, I didn't even leave my appointment, and they think that I deviated from my appointment, and I did not. My dad came up there. Good. I called a rehab for my ride from the doctors, and they're like, you've been discharged. I'm like, what do you mean? Come pick me up. And my dad was still there with me, and he took me back to the program. I'm like, oh my God, and they, had, they packed up all my stuff within 10, 20 minutes, and the cops came and got me that quick. I, it hasn't really all hit me yet. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, round the corner to the right. There's a second door after the second door. That's what we have. Do you know how long you'll be here today? I'm not going home. I don't have a bond. Let me see you really quick. I'm going to hold these items. Set inside. Feet on the feet, head towards the dock. Arms straight down at your side, just like the airport. All right, stand still. It'll be a loud sound. Just keep standing still. I know that God has a different plan. Hopefully, I don't go back to prison. <laughs> when I get home, the first thing I want to do is um, just get my baby back in my arms and continue with my recovery and my meetings. I'll get ready to bring you your phone in here. My mother died from addiction. As soon as possible, okay? So, yeah, I'm 29 and it's time to. Put my big girl panties on <laughs> and live a better life. Maybe this will blow over quicker than I think, and I'll go right back to my baby and continue breastfeeding her. All right, I'm going to grab you some cheeks and stuff, okay? Okay. All right. But you never know. Thank you.
this is my last time incarcerated. This is my last time. Say your prayer for me.